Hello programmers, welcome to the new series of Code Forces Educational Practice. In this video series, we are going to solve Code Forces Edu section practice questions. And as you can see, there is a lot more content available here. Uh, so in this section, I'm going to start from binary search step by step. Although I have solved all the four questions in practice of step one. Also, before solving the questions, I will recommend watching Pascal's video lectures because uh, everything I'm going to say while solving these questions will make more sense if you have already watched Pascal's lectures and if you are already find, uh, familiar with binary suits so then we can just start solving questions already so let's just do a speed run of solving questions okay so first question n and k given length of the array and number of queries just implement a binary search simple binary search algorithm k queries and k numbers and it is already sorted so okay then see n Is it available or not? Okay. So, also I'm using macro zephyr. It's just a for loop. So I'm going to take these two pointers minus one and I equals two. That's it. Zero. I equals ten minus one. Why low less than equals to high. should return a string yes or no okay if my mid value is five already then I'll return yes if mid is less than y If I don't find by default, I'll return no. Okay, sir, that should do it. No, three yes, double no, yes, yes, no, yes. Okay, let's submit this. accepted let's go to problem number B so here you have you're given K numbers 
sorted array in non decreasing order and you have to find the closest to the left element so what does this mean closest to the left this means that maximum index of an array not greater than the given one uh, so you have to find an index i such that array i will be less than equals to left value the value you have given k values number of values are k so and if there are none you are going to print zero as you can see it's one based indexing okay just Since it's one based indexing, if I don't find a value, I'll return minus one. And if I find a value, I should return the index plus one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to maintain a loop invariant. So and after each iteration of loop, my low pointer will point to an element that is less than or equals to val and high pointer will point to an element that is greater than strictly greater than val so initially my low will be pointing to minus one i am just assuming hypothetically that there is an element at minus one index which is negative infinity and there is a, a, an element at index n which is infinity so value is greater than minus infinity and infinity is greater than value so high is greater than low plus one if my mid value is greater than equals to val that means i know i can shift my low pointer to this mid value because my low pointer will always have values less than equals to val equals to mid and at the end we want to return in the index that is not greater than the given one so this loop invariant in this loop invariant this low pointer maintains value which is less than or equal to val that means this is the this pointer will maintain the value which is not greater than val so at the end i'll return low let's run this 0 to 4 0 5 0 to 4 0 5 okay let's submit accept it let's all see closest to the right similarly but what we have to do this time is we have to find minimum index of an array element not less than given one so minimum index of an array element so you can imagine if my element is uh, let's say 7 I have to find out the index of an array element not less than the given one so i have to find out i have to return the index of 8 which is which will be 4 one based indexing okay. 
so close to right I'm going to maintain the same loop invariant I had maintained in the previous question. My low will point to element which is less. Okay, so there will be a slight change because I want the minimum index not less than given one. That means the minimum index can be greater than or equal to the given one. So instead of uh, my low pointer pointing to element that was less than equals to I'll just do it less than and if it was greater than or equal to then I'll simply uh, shift my mid to high and at the end I'll return high 1 3 4 1 6 okay that's right submit Test one. Oof. Accepted. Okay. Let's solve D. This one is a nice question. So you are given an array of n integers. It is not sorted. You have to sort it. And your task is to response the queries like how many numbers of values are between L and R so you have to you have given you are given k queries and these queries will be of the form L and R R is always greater than or equals to L and you have to respond to the queries like how many numbers values are between L and R so basically you have to find out number of x such that x is greater than or equals to L and x is less than or equals to R this is what you have to find out total number of x okay so we are going to use the previous two solutions that are closest to left and closest to right to solve this okay this time i don't need to return index so i'll just simply return the result And this time I have to take care of the array first input, then I'll do input, the input of K. Let's do. First thing, array is not sorted, so I have to sort it at least once. Once that is sorted, what I'm going to do is first time I'm going to perform one binary search to find out numbers that are greater than or equals to L. Let's call that index let's call this left index. <coughs> greater than and I have to take two inputs here in int R then I have to perform another search to find out that are smaller than or equal to to 
R and once I have those values my total number of values in between left index and right index will be right minus left plus 1 so I'll just simply return right index minus left index plus 1 why I'm doing plus 1 because let's say you are at index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and you want to calculate total values between one uh, index 1 and index 4 total number of elements between index 1 and index 4 will you 4 4 minus 1 plus 1 so that's all okay. so greater than equal to l I'm going to maintain the same invariant in flow equals to minus 1 high equals to n while high is greater than low plus 1 my mid will be low plus high by 2 okay so now I have two options greater than or equal to so if my mid value is greater than or equals to val then I'm just going to shift my high into it because high initially had value greater than or equals to val so if my array mid is greater than or equals to val high equals to mid else low equals to mid at the end I'll return high similarly for int smaller than equals to r int r I'm going to maintain same invariant just little bit of change this time I want values to be smaller than or equal to r so if my mid value is smaller than equals to r then i'll ship my low to mid mid to low and high will be changed to mid and at the end i'll return low because my low pointer will always have values that are less than equals to val and that's what you want in this function Five two two zero. Oh, so I have to print them in one line. Accepted. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to solve step two. And in uh, so I recommend watching videos of step two first. And in step two there are uh, A B C D E F eight problems. And tomorrow we are going to solve all these eight problems. I have already solved five of them. So these three questions will be new for me and before solving these videos i would recommend watching step two theory video by pasca great videos this section is mostly about explicit binary search questions discrete binary search questions okay so i'll see you guys tomorrow